Good evening, this is Pamela, and you're listening to Watchmen on the Pod. I am going to read my other poem, a second one that I had written this past week. Um, I got to do it slow because I wrote it so sloppy. Arthritis, and I absolutely hate writing with my hands, I'll be honest with you. I'm rather tight. So here we go. A Christian is like a seed that is buried in the ground. The seed dies in the dirt. The Christian dies with Christ and the world all around. The seed is deeply buried. Soon its hard shell will break. The Christian's old self and habits will shed for Christ's sake. After the shell falls and it sits for a spell, same as a Christian in Christ, they will sit and all will be well. The life begins to shoot out from the seed once dead. The same for a Christian, but not a seed, but our spirit instead. The tender blade will shoot forth, then peek through the soil. The Christian will do the will do this through darkness, trial, and much turmoil. The seed begins to be a plant and will grow at its own speed. The Christian will grow too, where much patience they will need. Finally, the seed produces fruit for all to see and eat. The Christian will produce as well 30, 60, 100 fold as they sit at Jesus' feet. The purpose for this tale is for you to understand and know. It started with the heavenly seed God himself did sow. In God's garden at Calvary, on the cross he did die. Three days he was sown in the ground, and the third day he rose to everlasting life. You are a part of Jesus' harvest since he laid his life down for you. Are you willing to die with him in order to increase his harvest too? All right. I know that was really kind of difficult. I'm going to re-list and see if this makes any sense because I have got the sloppiest handwriting. It's not even funny. It's really sad when you can't read your own writing. All right, brothers and sisters. I love you all so much. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Your nose in the book, which is the word of God, and embed the word of God upon the tablets of your hearts so you will not sin against God or be deceived. Till next time, bye-bye.